back to the boat. Right, today's adventure is going to be a fun one. We haven't been able to get on the boat for a couple of weeks because it's been raining on the weekends. And we still haven't built a frame or a structure over the boat yet, so we've got to get that sorted. But first, I've got a heap of 15 mil panelling that we're going to start cutting into the front here today. I also want to fiberglass this guy in and we'll finish um, fiberglassing some bits in for the edge of this. So that's the plan. Let's clear this roof off. Let's uh, get this panel off, fiberglass it up and chuck it back on. And that'll be the start of the day. All right, let's do it. pieces at this end but I'm not too fast I'm just going to add a strip little strips in inside these ones where I didn't do the middle bit but uh, the edges have come up solid as and really good so I'm just going to give this a quick clean now we've got a few drips and stuff happening just make sure it's all um, looking good let's fluff this stuff off I'm going to give it a little bit sand anyway before we uh, coat everything going like jelly but I just got under here straight away and I've got the roller and I've just flattened everything out under here so we got it pretty flat which is good 
Just having a look now to see how it's all sitting. Our joint is on top of there. So you can't even see that. That's fantastic. Just a little bit of stuff sticking out. That, uh, you know, it's gone fluffy now. It's not going to push up anymore. Lucky I got in here with the roller straight away because there was a few little bits that were fluffy and, and dropping. Uh, so, good. Anyway. It's already starting to cure up. It's okay. We've got to sand everything and paint it all anyway. So, let's just let it cure. Smells like fiberglass in here again. Yay! Oop, what am I pointing a thing at? Get off there. Okay, that's good. We now have this roof area all done with a single layer of fiberglass. We've got to sand over it all. We've got to run fiberglass strips on the inside of here. So that might be the next next step to do today is um Let's get the sander, let's clean all this edge up on the bit that's already been already been done. Start cleaning it up. Although I do also want to keep working on the deck area. So two things. We can just let it all dry, we'll sand it all up and prep it all. See this is gonna be much nicer now on this side of this wall, which is the master bedroom. So the master bedroom area now is fully sealed with fiberglass underneath. Um, and then we're going to do two, three layers on top uh, to really thicken it up, make it nice and strong so you can jump on it. And, um, and that new layer over the top is also going to wrap down the sides and over the top of the new decking area. So it's one big sealed thing from the edge of the boat up over the kick rail, the tow rail. <laughs> Beautiful. Good. Oh, warm in here. I did grab the acetone to quickly clean stuff. We've got a hatch that we're going to put back into here. This goes pretty solid, doesn't it? Pretty cracky. So we've got to cut this out. I can just get the knife and run around the edge of this. Get that looking nice. No, we'll do it afterwards. We'll do it after we've, we've fiberglassed the top, of course. Because we want to have that excess coming over the top to um, cut off. Hmm, that'll be nice. Alright, get back up there. But thanks to you guys, all your support, I managed to buy myself a nice big roll of, of uh, fiberglass. So, it's good thickness. Good thickness on this. It's a really nice matting. So that's fantastic. Thank you so much to all the people who support the channel. This is what it goes towards, you know? Just watching it and supporting it. This is this is what it's doing. Actually getting me materials so now I can actually finish areas. Alright, we've got this area up here which I've just blown off and the tree keeps throwing stuff at me. So what I want to do is finally get the piece in there. 